more clear that he gave All Green permission to use this property without going. If you have two council people saying they have no idea, A, who the equipment belongs to, B, why it is on that property, you know, I mean... I didn't look at that particular article. Are you familiar with the entire article? Uh, it, you mean end of Austin Daily Times? Yeah. Know. Would you like a copy? Yeah, and I would, I would hand over this, but I've, I've made some notes on it for myself. Uh, <laughs> it is going to consider the actual minutes. Why don't you just mark those? Does anybody have a clean copy of the February 14th special call meeting minutes? <coughs> and Mr. Tillman, would you like to make these part of the record? Absolutely. Okay. And do you want an opportunity to review them? Shall I just read for the, the citizens that are here these minutes? Um, well, just remember that you're you're addressing the committee only. Okay. I would like to read these minutes to the committee. Councilperson Adams stated that she had driven by the recycle center and noticed containers being stored on the property. Adams stated she had asked the city manager and the mayor who the containers belonged to. <laughs> And the mayor stated the containers belong to Griffin Waste due to there being too much water and the ground being wet in the location he normally stored the containers. Adam stated she was concerned on who gave the permission to Griffin to store containers there. Adam stated that the council needed to be informed on what is going on, what is being stored on the city property. Councilman Clendenin stated that he was concerned if the city was getting any rental fees for the containers being stored on the property by Baldwin. Mayor Buller stated they were pulling two pools free of charge to the city for the use of the property. Mayor Buller stated that the council will be informed from now on of any city business taking place. 